have you subscribed yet if not make sure you click to subscribe like and share this video come on in the kitchen let's get ready to bake it is christmas season y'all i'm trying out this vanilla rum eggnog pound cake i think it's gonna be a sure pleaser let's get ready as every great pound cake recipe has in it i'm using flour sugar butter eggs vanilla i'm using some rum extract nutmeg for this cake and a little bit of powdered sugar let's and of course the eggnog let me not forget the eggnog let's get ready always make sure your ingredients are room temperature i'm using some softened butter i'm gonna start off by mixing the butter and the sugar and letting those cream together for about five to ten minutes to it's nice white and fluffy Once they're to the consistency that I would like, I'm gonna go ahead and add in each egg one at a time. And once those eggs are in there, I'm gonna add in my vanilla. I'm holding off on the rum extract that will go in this syrup a little bit later. So right now I'm just adding in about a tablespoon of vanilla when you're using a stand mixer you always want to after a while stop the mixer and just scrape everything down to make sure that all the ingredients are getting mixed and incorporated this recipe is so quick if you have all your ingredients set up it's probably a good 10 to 15 minutes process before it goes into the oven at this point I'm getting ready to add in my dry and wet so I'm adding in my flour and in the flour I mix the nutmeg and a pinch of salt and then I'm gonna alternate adding in my eggnog adding in the eggnog so I'm gonna alternate one and one until they're all incorporated now for this recipe, I have the recipe because I was only making this as a sample to try for my house. So I did not make a full pound cake. I have the recipe just so that we can just try it out. And I was doing a little bit of recipe testing. Not to overbeat, I decided to stop the mixer and just go ahead and mix in the rest with the spatula. And I'm just going to fold it over just a little bit longer and make sure everything is just mixed in before it goes into the pan and then goes into the oven. The oven will be set at 320 and this will cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. This was really a quick and easy pound cake recipe and it came out wonderful. Just a nice change up, seasonal change up. Has some eggnog, why not use it? Alright, at this point, I have greased and floured my bunt pan. Oops, a daisy. Oh, well, I'm sure to wipe that out. But I'm putting the batter into the pan, and once again, I'm cooking this on, baking it on 315 for 45 to 50 minutes. Now, let's talk about this recipe. It is an eggnog pound cake. How many of you out there love eggnog around Christmas season? Let me put my hand up because I do. But I wanted to try something with it. So I've never baked with it before, but I found a recipe online that looked pretty easy to make and looked like it was going to be quite flavorful. So hence me recipe testing tonight. And um, it was really easy. I think we just basically substitute the eggnog for maybe whole milk or sour cream in a regular pound cake. Once all my batter is in this pan, I don't know why it's taking so long. I'm going to go ahead and not just gently knock the air bubbles out and just tap the pan on the counter, making sure everything is leveled off and all air bubbles are out. And then I'm going to place it in the oven. 
not wasting no time here while my cake is baking in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and make the syrup and the syrup is basically a butter sugar combination and to this this is where you add some extra vanilla and I'm adding rum extract the recipe calls for straight rum um, but my house is an alcohol free zone so we don't have any rum in the house so rum extract will be suffice plus I am feeding this to children so it's very light but it balances nicely with the vanilla so it's vanilla rum and then that goes into the cake once it comes out I'm gonna poke holes in the cake and go ahead and put this nice butter glaze syrup on the cake and it's just gonna absorb into that already freshly baked eggnog pound cake and when the flavors marinate mm, they just pop and come together so nicely it doesn't take this long at all I want to say only about five to seven minutes once we get that heat up I turn it off and just let it simmer important note once the sugar and butter and water have finished cooking and I turned the fire off that at that point I add in the vanilla and I add in the rum extract if I add it in too early basically it would just kind of cook out the flavor and the flavor would just kind of go bland so you always add the extracts after you turn the fire off at least in the process of making like a butter a butter sugar syrup the cake is almost finished but who's ready for Christmas y'all Christmas is my favorite holiday I love Christmas season it's my time of year and here's the cake it is finished it looks awesome nice golden brown not over baked at all I'm gonna let this cool for about five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna flip it out and put it on the cookie rack so it can finish cooling and at that point I'm gonna poke holes in it and I'm gonna add that nice butter sugar rum and vanilla syrup into the cake Oh, this eggnog pound cake is feeling nice right about now just got doused with that nice vanilla rum butter syrup and now it's getting sprinkled with a little extra love with that powdered sugar taking it up just a little notch all these flavors are happy this pound cake was awesome it's a great seasonal choice option to make please make sure you go ahead and try it let me know how it turns out until the next time, thanks for coming in the kitchen. Thanks for baking with me. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm sure I'll see you before then. Be blessed. Take care.